So for today's prayer, it's going to include several different elements. Uh, this week begins Lent, uh, Ash Wednesday is this Wednesday. And so I want to include some of that. And then our church is starting our all church small groups. We hope you'll be a part of that. And so we are looking at uh, the armor of God. And uh, that's also included in the prayer. But today's a Valentine's Day, so we start off with love, because love is what makes a difference. So please join me in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for your love for us. And it's that love that makes a difference. But as we hear in the prayer of the Apostle Paul, that we pray that you would empower us with inner strength through your Holy Spirit. And that you, Christ, would make your home in our hearts as we trust in you. And so this Lenten time, when we uh, grow our faith, try to f listen for you, see you in our lives, may our trust and faith grow deeper, uh, that we may draw close to you. And may our roots grow down into your love, that keep us strong. And may we have power uh, along with all of God's people everywhere. How wide and how long, how high and how deep your love really is. And may we all experience the love of Christ. Though it's so great to understand fully this side of heaven. But it is love, feeling that love, understanding that love, growing into that love that makes our, our faith come alive, helps us to move forward in confidence, uh, to move without fear because your love surrounds us. And as we grow in love, uh, we become complete in the fullness of life and power that comes from you. And so we pray that your mighty power be at work within me, within us, within our church, within Christians everywhere, that we might make a difference in the world. So this Lenten time, when we are trying to be sensitive to you and to take away those things that come between you and us, or take on things that help us to think about you, to grow in our faith, to understand you more. May those things begin to happen. So speak to our hearts. Help us not to just let this time go by, but to really use it to listen for you and to understand you. And as we start our small groups, and it's looking at this passage in Ephesians 6 about the armor of God. May that be true in us too. May we stand our ground. May we not just go with the flow and let the world around us influence our thinking, but may you be the one who transforms us by renewing our thinking. And may we put on that belt of truth. May we always speak the truth, even when it hurts. May we try to live lives that are honest and full of integrity. And may we put on the body armor of your righteousness. Help us to do the right things and what we say, what we think, what we do. That when people look at our lives, they can see that we are living differently. And may we put on the shoes of peace that come from the good news of Christ. May we live lives that are at peace, that we experience shalom, a wholeness and a healing. And give us that shield of faith, a faith that trusts you, that knows that you'll never let us go. And that we have that helmet of salvation, that we know that in you, uh, we cannot lose our salvation because it is not something we earn. It is simply a gift from you. And may we take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. May this Lenten time perhaps be a time when we refocus our desire and passion to get into your Word. And may that Word feed us. And may it fill our, our hearts and our souls with the water uh, of everlasting water that only you can give. And we pray at all times in the Spirit, on every occasion. So, Lord, we lift up our prayers to you. Uh, may you help us in our needs. May you help us to be more aware of your presence. And may you be with each of us 
be with our church, our community, and our world. So, Lord, may you surround us with your love. May we lift up our needs to you, knowing that you hear and that you respond. So thank you for that love that is so amazing. And bless us, I pray, in the name of Christ. Amen.